Sleeping Sport. We back with a build review. First build review on the channel. Don't mind me, it's getting kind of cold out here. I like to stay bundled up. As y'all will see over time, I don't play that. So today, we got something special for y'all. A uh, build that one of my close friends been working on for a while. I had something to do with it. I'm not the most skillful person, but you know, a little help better than no help. So we're gonna get to my boy, let him introduce himself, and uh, we're gonna move on to the beer review. What it do, what it do, this hey, my man, boy. What's going on? Personal friend, been known no since my whole life, you know. And we done got on this car hobby. And uh, this is what we got going on. This is second build. First build, long story. Got to the end. He blew himself up doing the um, the uh, fuel, fuel pump. He blew himself up literally. So discouraged him a little bit, but talked him back into it. And this is what we got going on. All right. So oh, yeah, you. man, we just got a little uh, 82 Camaro. Let's build my boy top like like he said my boy top me um into getting back into the old school game you know what I'm saying so you know what I'm saying I bought it had a little uh 305 uh what that was a little 305 tune port in it and you know what I'm saying did some work on it it needed some motor work some transmission work and you know what I'm saying once I priced that out I was like shoot it'd only be like a band for me to, you know what I'm saying, LS swap it, but of course, you know what I'm saying, doing the LS swap process, uh, I got a little carried away. You know, I wanted to do suspension work, cam work, a whole bunch of different work, so, you know what I'm saying, that difference of that band, it highly es escalated over that, but. I mean, like I told him, I said I had a budget <laughs> Had hey, a whole list. Hey, I said I learned quickly that that budget went out hey, the window. Get over that budget real quickly. Yo. But you know what I'm saying. Let me show y'all uh, what we got going on here. So you know what I'm saying. We got a nice little five three uh, back behind a four L sixty E transmission. Um, stage two cam, um, man, a lot of work, man. You know what I'm saying? New harness. Shout out to my boy JD Customs for the harness. Um, who else can I shout out? Shout out to uh, Bra Rich Richard. Can't forget him, Richard Bracket Record Auto for the cam swap. And um. I mean, one thing I did, I did take it to a shop. You know what I'm saying? They were supposed to do a lot of the work, but oh, they didn't. Yeah. But I mean, I can say, hey, they put, they did my gears and my subframe connectors. And they also tried to steal the car. Yep, they also tried to steal the car, steal my money, all type of stuff. That's neither here nor there, cause we had to take them to court about that. We weren't going for it. For one thing I am going to say, he is a hard working man. They tried to say he was a drug dealer. A big time drug dealer from Atlanta, bro. I ain't, bro, I ain't never sold no drugs a day in my life, bro. You feel me? Just had to let that be known. Hey, that man. was one of the funniest things I done heard. I hey, like, man. him? Sure. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Good, good connectors, good tuck. You know what I'm saying? One thing. I wanted like an all motor look. So, you know what I'm saying? You could you could barely even see the harness on there, even, you know what I'm saying? So I did that myself. Uh, pretty much everything on the car been touched as far as suspension in the rear, new tubular, everything in the rear. Um, lower control, arms, sway, uh, everything. I mean, I, I, it's so too much bracket. To you feel me? Yeah, summit breaking on there. Um, next, we're going to be doing a big brake upgrade. Uh, tubular front, lower control arms. All right. So, yeah, um, we're going to do new uh, front tubular control arms. But 
down here. If you back up a little bit, you can see right here we got you on my everything. Uh, you on my everything, man. Subframe connectors, torque on converter, uh, Holly hooker, goddamn. Uh, just you, just all that's in the in the rear been redone. You know what I'm saying? Full exhaust. It's just everything. So right now we got some issues going on with the exhaust, but that's neither here nor there. It still work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still work, but you know what I'm saying? We get, we get into it. Like I said, big brake upgrade coming with slotted discs. Uh, slotted drill rotors upgraded uh, brakes and calipers all that coming it's on the way man you know what I'm saying so building pro progress but she running now and that's one of the main things I just ain't took on the highway yet because I know she got too much power I need some bigger tires you know you can still take a cruise on the highway you only drive 45 yeah. anyway <laughs> All that up under there. He got the good custom exhaust. Um, go ahead and tell them about the custom exhaust from the guy on Moreland. Oh, not, no, not even, he ain't even off of Moreland. Oh, Mark, this seat, all right, right correct there. me. Go ahead and correct me. <clears throat> he, he right there off of, uh, what they did, Covington Highway, well, Covington Highway meet uh, Western Chapel. Shout out to uh, Fred over there at Brakes and Muffler. He got your boy right. You know what I'm saying? He, he set me straight on the exhaust. And, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the other work been, you know what I'm saying, really just done by shit me. And, when, you know what I'm saying? Whenever my partners could really got dang. Um, Cause he was trying to do this build at night, bro. in the dark. Hey, man, you got Nine o'clock. Hey. I'm like, bro, I just got 10, back off work. I'm 9, like, 10, dang. 12 o'clock, bro. You got to get it in when you got that urge. Ain't know? nothing yeah. but respect that. Hey, when I could, I did pull up, though, so. Hops Motorsports uh, original badges. Them badges right there cost like 200 alone by themselves. So, you know what I'm saying? We're just trying to keep it as original as possible, but modern as possible. You feel me? You know, that's what we're hitting on with it. Yes, sir. Right, so, we're going to do a little interior review. So, <clears throat> As far as the interior, I wanted to keep it as, as modern as possible. Um, I did the Holly 6.86 dash to give me a little digital dash. I ain't even gonna cap y'all down on the radio. We still working on getting that hooked up. Um, we did the B&M stealth shifter. You know what I'm saying? Give me that ability to drive it as an automatic. And when I wanna get on a nigga ass, I can, you know what I'm saying, shift it from first, second, third, and leave the joke, you feel me? Um, custom shift plate still working on this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause I want that, I want the shift plate to, to match the, yeah, get in on that. See, it got the honeycomb carbon fiber that's in there. So I want the shift plate to match my, my dash. Uh, what else we did? Oh yeah, one thing I like about it, we did the detachable steering wheel on it, so she come off. So, you know what I'm saying, in case somebody hating on me, they want to try to steal me. Hey man, you gonna have to do a lot. You gonna have to, boy, you gonna have to do a lot to get this joker, so. Yeah man, you know, we just, you know, slight little bill, new flow mats, all original interior. I'm gonna get them, gonna get the interior shampooed and what have you. And, you know what I'm saying? Go from there, man. Yeah. Trying to keep it as clean as possible. Bro I said he don't know if it's gonna be too loud. I said, well, we got three Corvettes. <laughs> and this neighbor right here got an AMG um Mercedes, I ain't never heard nothing like that before. 
from a Mercedes. I that, that motor built <laughs> in the Mercedes or something.
That's just what it gonna be, Mike. All right. Um, also, we've been thinking about building a motor. We ain't gonna have no car together. We're gonna put a motor together. So that's something that we're gonna um, do, like a little dual, both channel type thing, but that's gonna come up later on down the line. Sure. And uh, appreciate everybody that checked in, that's watching this review. Hey, Sleeper Sport family, we out. Hold it down.